The Scarlet Knights were fired up as they welcomed the Golden Gophers of Minnesota to the rack. The fans were pumped up as well. Are you on three, one, two, three? Are you? Opening tip underway. Gophers and Scarlet Knights, the 11th all-time meeting. Rutgers has size, and they have three guys in the 270 range that they can rotate into this game. They can use fouling as a strategy. Home court advantage is a big deal. Especially when Geo Baker is lighting it up from downtown and finding the open man. A lot of moves in the left hand, and Omarui ties the game at seven. How about that, huh? That was nice. Minnesota forged an early lead thanks to some solid outside shooting, but Rutgers picked up the intensity on defense and it made a huge difference. On both ends of the floor, the action heated up and sometimes tempers flared. It was the type of rugged battle between two hungry ball clubs. He's got something to do with it. Keeps fighting, keeps fighting. And puts it in to beat the buzzer. Kiss knocks in the three. McConnell on the clock. Off the glass and in. Four point advantage, Rutgers. Gophers looking to end a 7 0 run. A two. Lost it. In transition. Kiss to the bucket. Tap in. Issa Chum. Time out, Gophers. After Rutgers put together a stunning 11-0 run, Minnesota answered with an 11-2 burst of its own to recapture the lead. Back to back rough games. So today, maybe it feels like he's due. And Mathis is in transition again. Lands it off the back of the rim, and Rutgers back within a deuce. They know what's at stake. They know how big this game is for positioning. Omarui backs it in. Nice positioning. And he's rewarded with the two. And that'll send us to the locker room with the Gophers up by seven. When you were on the road and you were up seven at halftime, you got to be pleased. And if you're at home and down by seven, there's reason for urgency. Be ready to step. Be ready to step. Come on. Now you've got no foul. This is a Rutgers team that has overcome adversity all year. A team that is never out of a game. A team that has learned to play from behind. A team that was ready to click on all cylinders in the second half against Minnesota at the rack. Now back in on the Ruggie, using the rim beautifully to get Rutgers another deuce. There it is. This ball picked up by Baker. Defensive back thinking about a pick six. After the day, big shot by the freshman. Time out, Minnesota. Rutgers started playing with passion. But Ethan Happ, Bruno Fernando, and Jordan Murphy was a little bit more of a struggle today. Baker on the break. Mathis lays it in. And an opportunity for the lead at the line. Three times in a row. Minnesota players driving into a crowd and coughing it up. Johnson backing down. Curry goes to the hook shot. Back to the left. Oh, Marie. He's shown the left and the right. Dorson sends it into the media members. Amaruyi was a force to be reckoned with and came within one rebound of a double-double. lost it. Amaruyi. Mathis in the Energy in the building. Helps defense. Got 
some space. The step back and the triple. Got O'Toole on him. Into the corner. Mathis the triple. Big time. Big, big, big time. Baker on the drive. Kelser tackling. Baker in clutch situation ties it up. And he's got Kelser on him playing with four fouls. The step back. The three. This game would be a classic Big Ten tussle with nine ties and 12 lead changes. And both teams understood this one would go down to the wire. Rutgers defends home court and knocks off Minnesota 68 to 64. wins for the Scarlet Knights and after they've been oh so close they get Minnesota at home Man, we were in a tougher team. We took it at them. Got to the rim, got to the rack. We played Rutgers basketball. Together on three. One, two, three. Together. Good job, good job, good job, good job.